ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to round four of ASN at Japan Suzuka in the McLaren this time because my friend wanted a teammate. Why not? Let's go with him. Uh, we're going to load on a setup here. Now, again, I didn't have any practice. Um, this is going to be my final league race in F1 2019. So we're looking to have a good race to finish things off. So right. what we're going to do changes, is mate. we're going to have to go out and set a lap. Uh, now, Suzuka is a difficult track. It's got lots of undulation, lots of bumps, and the curbs can, at times, be lethal. It's very easy to spin out on the curbs. And uh, we're coming through uh, the start-finish straight now, 15 minutes left in the session, starting our first lap. And we're breaking for turn one quite late. We break a little too late, and we get a line wrong into that corner. Uh, try to hold it flat through this as much as you can. And the S's are really difficult. It's really easy to lose the back end in this uh, section of the track. We're coming through Dunlop Curve. You do not want to hit the curb on the inside, but you want to take as much as you can on the outside without getting on the gravel. And coming to finish our last, uh, sorry, the last sector to come and finish our first lap, we go P1 with a 30.753 on the soft. The uh, time behind is a 31.0. And that's set on the mediums. You can see when we come back into the pits, uh, Zavi in the Renault has gone faster than us in P1. We're now bound to P2. So, yeah, the strategy is soft to medium. Pretty easy. Uh, and there isn't forecast to be any rain in the race, although it is going to be overcast. We may get a little chance of rain. Uh, I doubt it, though, because the game said no. And uh, we're coming into the garage now to look at the times. And what we're going to do is we're going to start our second lap. And coming through the start, finish straight now. This uh, wasn't our best lap, actually. We improved on the final run as well. So coming through, turn one. Lots of traffic on the inside and the outside. Thankfully, they get out of the way in time. One of them was my teammate. Coming through the FSs again. And... Through Spoon, we're five tenths up nearly, trying to get a good exit. And yeah, we're five and a half tenths up on our time. And we're last at the moment because, well, that was a bad time to be honest. And five and a half tenths up. What are we going to do as we come through into the Casio Triangle? Taking lots of curb. We didn't take enough curb on the second part there. So we got a bad exit onto the start finish straight, but we're still going to improve by nearly five tenths. And yeah, that's a 30.2. Puts us P1. And that is a good lap. And once again, Xavi goes faster on his second run. And um, we're looking to get a good lap in here. Okay, so we're going to go through the start finish straight. I'll uh, commentate this lap for you. As we come down into turn one. You want to be braking quite late, use the apex, accelerate through it, and that is an ideal line as we get it straightened up for turn two and the S is straight away. Fifth gear through here, easy to lose the traction, so keep it close to the curbs. Fourth through here, early on the power, use a bit of that curb. Now almost flat through here, as flat as you can go. And coming into the Degners then, we want to be taking almost flat this second one, hardly any break. Breaking very late for this one. You can use all the curb on the outside to stable your car. We have a purple first sector up by four tenths coming into the hairpin. You want to be going to fourth gear, short shift up to third on the exit to get the best traction. And yeah, we're four tenths up coming towards Spoon. So you want to be right on the right hand side of the track, taking all the curb on the inside and the outside. Fourth gear, do not go down to third, it will lose your time and coming up the back straight then we want to be going flat of course in these modern f1 cars through 130r flat every day of the week and we're three tenths up on the pole time it's looking good for us and this is where you can make or break your lap coming into the triangle you want to be taking all that curb on the left we could have taken a bit more but that is fine by me as we come across the line it's going to be a four tenth improvement and we do go pole position for the Japanese Grand Prix 
our second poll, uh, our first was um, was in Spain, and that is a very good result. We'll see how much we got it by just one tenth. So that last chicane made all the difference, and that is a good lap to. Uh, we're going to be starting from pole, yes. Yeah, so trap position is key in Japan. It's very difficult to overtake, apart from the back straight coming out of Spoon if you get a good exit. And also the uh, the start finish straight, but it's very difficult as turn one closes in quite a lot. We're looking at the strategy here on the grid. You see very overcast, uh, but it's going to be an easy soft medium. Uh, we want to reduce our fuel because fuel usage around here is quite low. Uh, we're going to be ready to start the race from pole position. We're going to try and get a good start. See the end of formation lap here. We've warmed up all our tyres and it's Xavi behind us who will be challenging us into turn one as we line up on the grid for the start of our last ever league race in F1 2019. The lights will start soon as the last car on the Red Bull at the back of the grid forms up. And the lights are on here in Suzuka. It's four, four, five red lights. And away we go. Xavi did not get an initial good start. So we won't be challenging to turn one. Felix behind in the Williams is trying to get around the outside of Xavi going into turn one. And he does that before the corner, actually. So you want to be making the most of this through the S's. Try and build a lead. And we're coming through now trying not to get on the curbs. If we get on the curbs, we're going to lose so much time. And there was a problem in this race that was there for me all race. My brake pedal. Oh, so Zavi spins. Zavi's gone out of Dunlop Curb. Very easy to do on the first lap. And that safety will be a safety car Don't already. And the safety car is going to be coming in this lap. What I was saying was that my brake was braking without me registering any input. So I wasn't he didn't even have my foot on the brake pedal. It was registering an input with the brake. So every time I opened DRS, it closes straight away. And of course, I'm slow on the straights and mid corner it breaks. And that is not good. And we're going to get a good safety car restart though. Jumping our teammate Dragon as uh, Felix pitted. Uh, under the safety car for medium, hoping to go to the end. And we're going to come through turn one now. We have around a five tenth gap to P2. And once again, we have to make the most of this. We want to be running low or no ERS in the S's. It's a good place to save around this track. And uh, lean mixture as well if you have to save fuel. But standard is better if you're okay on fuel levels. So coming onto lap nine now. The sun is coming out and the gap is also coming out. We are 1.5 seconds ahead of Dragon. And you see there, the brake through turn one was braking. I didn't want it to. Uh, coming through Spoon now, we get this a little wrong. We go wide and we've got our first warning on lap nine. So we need to be careful about that. Uh, it's easy to get penalties around any track really in this game. So the less penalties, the better. Our tyres are on 37%. And I was thinking, well, we can go one more lap because of the safety car, really. Um, but coming through the Casio Triangle, we are going to decide to stay out another lap. Yeah, so Dragon, I thought he would pick, so with teammates, obviously. Uh, but no, he stays out. So that means he's going to have to stay out another lap after this, because we're pitting this lap. Unless he's going to double stack, which wouldn't be a good idea. So we're going to come into the pits now. We're going to slow it down for the mark. And I'm always very cautious on pit entry. Don't want to get a penalty as we come into our pit box then. So the first stint is over. And now we'll be going on to the medium tyres. Uh, we've been leading the first stint from lights out to our pit stop. And now we're going to emerge in P6. Uh, because the last three down to P9 are, uh, had damage on the first lap. So Felix ahead in the Williams 
on the mediums that he pitted for on the first safety car of lap. Yeah, so we're just checking time penalties for the uh, cars ahead and behind, and Felix has got three seconds, so we're looking good for this race, uh, but bearing in mind he still has to pit. Now, my teammate is in the pits now, that'll be Dragon. So you're going to come through the Casio Triangle for the 12th time this race, and what you're about to see is that the safety car will be deployed and I was worried at this point because I'm thinking, well, I'm not going to get out ahead of my teammate, ahead of Dragon, uh, because he's going to have the uh, Delta on the safety car whilst I have to adhere to the rules, but we get past him. We get past him, thankfully, just. Now, my next worry was Felix ahead. Is he going to pit? Uh, I mean, theoretically, he could go to the end. Uh, just trying to get past the safety car here. Being a bit awkward, Dragon, oh, he nearly went into it. But yeah, Felix does come into the pits, because I think that's the right call, really. Uh, but we use our Delta, we go over it purposefully, actually, to make sure we get out ahead of these three cars. And once we're past it, the Delta goes away anyway, because we've crossed the line. So that was a good strategy, and we're back in the lead with fresh tyres. And we're going to go to the end. There's no point stopping. And as you can see, the safety car is in this lap, and the Red Bull of AD behind us on the mediums as well. Looking very racy indeed as we come through to start of the race once again after the safety car period. I've been hot lap and rich, and I'm going to keep going slow, and we're going to dart when we get to the end of the kerb, which is about now. And that is a good restart. We kept uh, AD napping, actually. Lady Dragon can try and make a move, but you know that Red Bull is very, very quick. Uh, well, quicker in a straight line than the McLaren, but also around here, Japan, where it's the downforce heavy circuit, the Red Bull is extremely quick. And coming through the S's now, we're trying to build a gap. I mean, or at least trying to stabilise the gap, because the Red Bull is just so fast. Like, I don't understand why AD was put in the Red Bull. It's supposed to be like um, the reverse championship order the cars are given out but because he came in halfway through he doesn't have many points in the championship so he was put in faster car even though he was he is well it with his pace he should be in in the Haas or racing point around there that midfield uh but coming through now we're going to come through spoon and you'll see how far back he is when we come out of spoon but he still gets the run on us it is ridiculous the straight line speed of this Red Bull compared to the McLaren. And you see, if we, when we look back, he's that far behind. I was like, ah, no chance. He's not going to have any chances. But look already. Already he's like half the gap. The gap is two tenths. I know Eddie is very, very cautious, so he won't go for the move. We move back onto the racing line after partially defending our position, knowing he's not going to go for it. But... The rate that the Red Bull is closing in on this is absolutely mental. And we're coming through to start a 16th lap. We set this fastest lap. Then does AD. He's going to try and go around the outside. We're going to try and defend this. A bit of lag. We break too late and he's got through. He got the switch back on us because I broke far too late. That was my mistake. And this was a point where the race just fell away for us, really. AD was gone. He uh, drove off into the distance as quick as you've ever seen really uh, obviously with that Red Bull being very fast around Japan we've seen it in real life and it's true in the game as well so our main competitor now is Dragon behind but you'll see how much we close on him in this braking zone but the Red Bull is so good on acceleration I can't keep up in any way, shape or form with him. You can see lap 20 and he's already out of our sights. That's four laps later. And he's already near the end of the S's. And this is a problem for us. We're not going to win the race. We're going to have to fend third position. As you see, we go a bit wide there. Uh, coming through Dunlop Curve. We're going to get it all wrong. And we get a bit of oversteer. And we have to go onto the grass there. And Dragon, Dragon gets past us. So, I really wanted to keep this P2. It would be my best result in the championship so far. So, it meant a lot to me, and 
I checked on my teammate as we get so close to him in the braking zone there. And on the acceleration as well, that was so close to being out of the race and tangling with our teammate. We don't want that when it's the McLaren 2-3, but I checked with Jeff and Dragon, apparently he has a three second time penalty. So if we stay in the three second margin, we're going to be able to take this P2 back when we cross the line and coming on to the final lap now, coming through Spoon once again, we're on the back of Dragon. It, he's about 1.8 seconds ahead and unless we make a big mistake in the final chicane, I think P2 will be ours. In fact, the gap is only 1.3, so it should be. And we get it near enough, okay. Not enough curb really on that second apex, but it's still enough uh, to take P2 in this race. We cross the line and go P2. 8.6 seconds behind the leader of the Red Bull, the AD. Oh my goodness me. Get him out of the Red Bull. <laughs> well, that's our race then. And that's our final ever league race in Formula 1 2019, the game. As you see there, we're on the podium on the left-hand side, representing Britain. P2. Uh, we put up a fight, but uh, that mistake of breaking too late, really, was where the race was lost. And that is my final ever league race of F1 2019, as I said. Uh hope you enjoyed the video guys uh be sure to like and subscribe comment if you've got anything to tell me but the main thing is really tune in on the 7th of july uh, on wednesday for my first my team career mode in f1 2020 that is going to be a good start to a series so subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of that and yeah, the F1 2020 game season is going to start very soon. We're going to be doing normal career mode, my team career mode, and a co-op career mode online. Uh, so make sure you stay around for all those three series. But guys, that has been it for this video. Final race of F1 2019. Final video of F1 2019. If you have enjoyed it, please do leave a like and subscribe. Like I said, there are more videos on your screen. Be sure to check those out. But until next time... Bye-bye.